Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. And today I'm taking out the Airbus H145. Now this is a payware user product. If you have seen videos on the military version already, uh, you will recognize it. I am going to show it off as well because I'm actually quite impressed with this. So the helicopter at the moment is, oh, I think it's actually on a discount for 43 US dollars. I think it is, which does seem quite a lot. Um, we do get three versions of this, though. You get the standard version, you get a luxury version, and you get the military version. I am going to show off the military version today. And with this video, I basically want to press buttons and see what we can do. So the first thing I have done is I've changed my minigun to the left and my rockets to the right only because I've configured my uh, controls to fire. If I press the left side, it shoots the minigun, the right side shoots the rockets. We will have a go of doing that today. Now we can uninstall all the doors. Oop, let's press that. Um, you do get your guys sitting on the edge there, or we can put all the doors back in and just open those two. You can get rid of the guys by pressing on here and it will actually remove the guys. Oops, I keep pressing that twice. So now that they're not there, but if we press that again, guys are there. Cool. And I keep the front doors. Uh, and you do hear the difference when the doors are not here, which we could jettison if we want or reset. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, we do have the cargo doors that can be opened at the back. Now, I'm not sure, I haven't flown with somebody else with a 145 yet um, to check whether they can see that when they open. But I know in the 135, when you start opening up your cargo doors at, at an airport and somebody else has it, they can actually see that, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, let's close that. We will keep the two guys on the side there. Uh, we'll press this top bar again. We'll go down to aircraft. I'm going to set it up for ready for takeoff. Now, this is a beautiful aircraft. I'm not going to go through and press every single button um, only because I haven't actually learnt everything I need to do and I don't want to have to do it on a long uh, video. So I'm very impressed with how this has come up. Um, I believe this would be awesome for um, VR. So I'll actually just take a back a screen here. The other things that you do have on here besides a Flappy Bird game is little nav map. So people who already use little nav map but want to use VR can now actually have the little nav map running on this screen and Navigraph can have some alarms that go off and your activity log uh, DF what is DF direction finder okay harbor view medical um, overlay medical press this button to go back yep uh, your meta you can actually get the um, information for basically whatever airport you want go back Okay, web page, EFB connect, not going to do that. I must admit I haven't pressed that one. Oh, there's the same as pressing up the top there. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, maps, very nice. I'm at Sydney Airport here. Uh, plenty of overlays on that as well. Uh, but we'll go back to aircraft. We'll go ready for takeoff. I am using realistic. There is an arcade version, but I'll stick with the realistic for now. And I think there's a way of implementing Airland FS if that's your preferred method as well. Now, equipment. We can have a cockpit weapon uh, sight. I'm not overly impressed with it because it doesn't shoot there. And the other one that comes up here, I'm not sure how to use it because I guess that's for the co pilot, which I now can't see. Um, but your gun and your missiles don't shoot right there. They seem to be up high. I'm not sure whether there's something with that or it's work in progress or you change your views. Uh, I have to work that out later. We can put on wire strike protection tools. You know what, I'll put them all on and show them off while we're starting up still. So we now have our wire cutter at the top. We have one underneath there to defend Select if I can. Whoa, the camera seems to want to move too fast. Um, but it seems to be behind the uh, optics, which is interesting. Um, we do get these skid protectors, and we also get uh, what I put on there was skid plate protectors. 
sure that that's when I come in too hard. Not that I'm going to do that, but I usually do um, land a little bit too rough. Uh, now we don't have the emergency floats on this one. We do on uh, the luxury version. I'm not sure if we have it on the standard. I'll have to go and have a look at that again. Uh, you can change all your units to uh, potentially different time. Um, tablet clock time is PC time. Yeah, you want an hour out, so um, that's fine. So we'll go back to setup. I'll leave it on setup so you can see when I move the collective, um, uh, cycling the dead zone, the pedal dead zone um, sensitivity. I'm not going to change those, but you will see them go up and down as I turn around. Now it looks like we're ready to go. Let's go for our views. We've got uh, decent instrument views. Okay, we do have the, um, I think it was, was it GN 750? Uh, we can go message. There's no, no, I haven't got a flight plan. Uh, normally I would have map on this one and a flight plan potentially on this one, but we have no flight plan uh, set up. Uh, overhead view, which does seem to get all the buttons, but not the breakers. Uh, but you can go up there and then you got your generator buttons, bus tie, uh, emergency SHD bus, I'm not sure what exactly what that is. Um, your other controls and nav and environmental systems. All right, there we go. Where there's ambulance and regional emergency. Um, okay, cool. There is a closer view. Okay, cool. Left, right. All right, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cycle it up. We find that I'm. Because we're on realistic we might get a bit of a twist there we go so I'm just uh, you can see that I'm actually using my rudder uh, there to turn it and we'll give it a bit of a tilt and get some forward momentum and then you almost don't need to tilt it anymore which is really nice we'll bring that back up otherwise we're going to find ourselves in the ground real quick okay so Oh, there's a little bit of a uh, frame loss as I try to move over Sydney Airport to see if I wasn't blocking anybody. A bit late. I'm not going to be able to get out of the way. Outside view. It would be cool if you could get uh, a view from those guys. That would be alright. Now you can see that I am uh, twisting my uh, rudder there as well. Now, let's go to the... Uh, armed section so it seems fairly stable there uh, lost my mouse there we go thank you nope where is it systems arm weapons there we go so you do need to arm the weapons now to shoot I you need to follow the guide um, in maybe we'll take it back to the airport um, Follow the guide to set up the new buttons that they've got, but basically... Whoa! That one caught up with me. Let's try that again. Minigun. Whoa! Every time I'm hitting that, it's actually uh, shooting the helicopter around. Yep, and missiles. There we go, thank you. I'm sure Sydney Airport would be very unhappy with me putting holes in. We're definitely getting a, a decent uh, pullback on that. There we go. So we are putting uh, craters on the ground there. Uh, there does look like there's a bit of flame in that. Um, we can shoot from outside. Whoa! Okay, at the moment as I shoot it seems to pull back violently I don't know what's happening there but you can clean up your craters there's a button there on you can see on the screen um, that says clean up in between the uh, minigun and rockets that'll actually clean up any of the detail of the craters here in front of us so we've actually got smoke now from the rockets Let's see if we can just back this off and press Clean up. There we go. Gone. Pull up. Yeah, it's a good idea. 
Now, I haven't tested, but I will fly this out on a stream. I'm not sure other people see your rockets and or damage. I kind of doubt it, but I've yet to find that out. If anybody knows otherwise, let me know. See if we can bring this in without running into that tower there, the uh, antenna. I didn't put the uh, displays on the left side, which is kind of fine, I don't need it. Uh, inter parking bay 77. Not sure what the weather's like here today either. But uh, definitely got some. Uh... Oh, okay, I'm over doing this had that much issue before. Can you just land it on the line, please? Thank you. There we go. All right. Um, look, I like the helicopter. I think it's uh, very nice. Um, I guess if we press rockets here, it changes that and reloads everything. And um, we can also um, go back to home again. And if we press home again, it gets that out of the way. So if you want to see where you're um, facing. Oh, we actually have a different screen over here, that's why. Don't think we can turn that on. Or if we can, I haven't worked out. So over on the co-pilot side. And then you lose the mouse. You gotta love that, don't you? There we go. No, so not pressable. It looks like I can't press anything while I'm in there. All right, so uh, we can also, um, look, you can shut this down for cold and dark. Just by pressing that and everything will go off. Or you can go through and manually click what you're supposed to click. Very good. They have done a great job. Thought for a moment there I was smoking. No, I think it's just the heat above. That's pretty cool. Alright, um, just a quick view of the H145 military. Um, I have noticed that just uh, every time I zoom in and out there it is stuttering. I don't think that's because of the model. I think it's because... Uh, I've been trying this for a little while, back and forth, and uh, loving it. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Link will be in the description. Cheers.